Sir, that situation is a clear manifestation of the vacancy of leadership in Nigeria. Mm. There is a serious crisis in the temple of mm -hmm. leadership. What we see in Nigeria is governance by various characters that has no national spirit. If you have leadership, you will always create opportunities that will rest this kind of anarchy that we have. The situation in the country today is that what we are doing is we are, Nigeria is on auto drive. If there is leadership, nobody can have the audacity to issue quick notice and neither the youth from the southeast will have the audacity to make any contrary issues that does not properly fit into the national equation. Mm. The members we have in the executive, in the five states, our representatives in the various state houses of assembly, and those that are in the National Assembly have lost focus. Mm. So there is a failure of leadership. That is why this agitation is all over the place. And what the Northern youths are doing was to, in political balance, is balance of terror. Mm. In this equation of balance of terror, we want to see who blinks first. Mm. And the vice president is not leading. Mm. What he's doing is he's consulting. Okay. Don't forget to go back to history. When the SY first military head of state of Nigeria was murdered in Ibadan, what did he go to Ibadan to do? He was there to go and talk to some traditional rulers when there was a national crisis. He couldn't provide direction for the country. And that is the situation we find ourselves. All right. You are just trying to say, in other ways, that we are going back to history, that history is repeating itself. Is that what you are saying? Precisely, yes. Because most men have never, they don't, they want to be loved. Mm. They want to be said, oh, he's a nice man. Mm. They don't look at the agitation so that they can begin to resolve those issues mm. that throw up this type of anarchy in the system. All right, you are saying that what the acting president is doing, he's not providing the leadership we are looking at. Because he's not providing he leadership. He's just, you know, massaging what the crisis or whatever the crisis could be. What do you think he could have done differently? A leader must not waver. A leader must have direction. A leader must find ways of arresting any issue that will put his power in, in issue. Oh, okay. The power to lead Nigeria is now in issue. Mm. People are talking about we want true federalism. Mm. Remember, the political party in power, APC, campaigned on that they will restructure Nigeria. What happened? They abandoned the manifesto of their party. Oh. And that is why you can see the rising voices in agitation because the Igbo elites are more interested in acquisition of wealth. They don't know about power. Mm. That's another statement. Igbo elites are more interested in acquisition of wealth and they power. lost focus in power. Oh. So the younger elements who are better traveled, who are more internet, they have learned from internet, are agitating. For power. It shows that the present crop of leaders in Iboland don't represent the direction of the people. Alright, are you saying that the youths, they are doing it better than the elders? I'm talking about Igbo youths and Igbo youths are on top of the political situation in Nigeria than any other region. Oh, Igbo youths yes. are on top. Yes, that More is why. That is why they are voiced, but they have not been able to articulate it using the highway of political power oh. by seizing the political parties so that they can initiate the programs and projects that will change Nigeria. Oh, so right now the youths are providing that leadership in the no, they are agitating. Oh, they are agitating. By agitating, they have left power on the street. Oh. And then those who had the mandate to lead mm. are now shrinking from taking position. All right. Let's, you know, look at the meeting the vice president had with the Igbo Alex. Now, he said that... Who they, selected the representation? Who selected? Yes. The governors and then also the members who of Who selected the representation of those people? The remember, presidency did. The remember, presidency did. Why should the presidency select who to talk to? Oh. This is the narrative we must begin to interrogate. Mm. We're talking about...
talking about power. Okay. You're not going to be smart. We're not going there to sell ice cream. Okay. And then those representatives that went there, what did they come out with? They are afraid to talk through to the power. Oh. They should have told them, these young people in my province, in our parishes, okay. are talking about marginalization. Okay. They are talking about going to Biafra. Where is Biafra? Biafra, is it an agenda? Oh. Is it a destination? It is a logistic feeling. Oh. That unites a people which gives them an avenue to agitate. Oh. So the only thing you have to do is to give them an alternative. Where is the provisor? Uh. Those people that went there, they should have told the vice the acting president, when are you going to restructure Nigeria so that we go home and tell them we have extracted restructuring for, from you. So let us forget about All Biafra. Right. All right. So you are saying that people that we are talked to by the acting president they are not just doing anybody good because they cannot even tell the vice president who is the acting president what the people want. Yes! That they can't even just make any points. They would have told the acting president, you are telling us to go and tell these people to stop making... Re remember it was the Ohaneze people. Ohaneze has no constitutional mandate. Where are the political parties? All you are saying... In Ebola. You know, let me get it correctly because you are saying that by the time the acting president ordered not just ordering, appealed to the leaders, the so-called leaders of thought, to go and talk to the people that they would have The political it. elite in Ebola should have been the ones attending that meeting. Oh, the political elite. The elite, those who own political parties, those who are elected in offices, they will be the loser. They should be the people that will talk straight to the power and tell him we want restructuring okay. so that we can go back and tell them. Alright, so you are saying your position is very simple. Let me get your position so that I can communicate to people listening to us. You are saying that what they ought to have told the acting president, they could have told the acting president what these people want is restructuring. No more, no less. If you ask us to go and tell them they shouldn't make hate speeches, they shouldn't even, you know, create crisis and all that, we are going to tell them. But look at what they want. You must also do what they want. Mr. Speaker, that is my motion. But then you are saying that people that we are told to go and tell you know, the people, just like uh, the acting president did tell you know, the Igbo elites and also the northern elites, they were also told the same thing. But my point is that they have not communicated back to the acting president, telling the acting president, look at what these people want, look precisely, at what the country wants. Precisely, they are afraid to talk to those in power oh. because they had no stake. I was expecting the people that will be there will be our elected representatives in all the parliaments in our local uh, in the uh, states the leaders of political parties mm. not ohaneze oh, okay not definitely not ohaneze okay because ohaneze cannot wield power oh all right what do you just like i asked you earlier on i asked you what you think the acting president could have done differently but then you said that he could have uh, you know step up and also address the polling issues Oh, the acting president is not providing leadership. He is not. Why is he calling meeting? He knows what the people want. Oh, he knows what people the, want. A leader must not weaver. A leader must listen and take very proactive measure. Oh, okay. But remember, not got, talking to people. You, if you want to peace them, on you go and get the bishops. Oh, if you want to, you know, talk about peace. If you want to get peace, they should go and talk to the bishops. You know why the people are doing what okay. they're doing? Okay. You are not resolving it. Oh, okay. Look at Ohaneze when they came back. Did they go and talk to the people? Because they know they know they don't talk, control those youths. Oh, they didn't even talk to the people <laughs> because they know the people cannot even listen to them. But the question now is, because the position of the federal government is that for now we are not talking about restructuring because they haven't come out open. But then the minister of justice and the attorney general of the federation of Bakamalami, in one of the you know places he went to deliver a lecture, he did say something like that, saying that. The government, you people acting or asking for this, agitating for this, you are wasting your time because the government of the day will not restructure. He that is not what he said. Okay. In fairness. Okay. What he said is that agitation will not give you restructuring. Oh. Power is in the parliament. Oh. Power is not on the street. But today, power is on the street. Oh. That is the tragedy. So the, uh, the restructuring, let's, you know, go, you know, go with this restructuring. Who do you think we initiate this restructuring agenda? Our members who are in the various constituencies of our parliament, oh. the state parliaments, the National Assembly. 
So they are the political leaders. Uh. Ohaneze is not a political leader. It's a cultural association. Oh, okay, you are saying that uh, people that are at the national assembly, the state assembly, they are our political leaders. And they should be the one that we really you know, initiate this issue of restructuring. But let's assume including those that are officers in national parties that are recognized in section 221 of our constitution. Mm. Okay. Okay. Remember that there was this very statement predicted to Nadekano. He did say that no referendum, no election. That Starting is what I'm trying states. to pigeonhole to you that instead of power being in the parliament, power is on the street. Oh. Because failure of leadership. So what do we do? We must change these leaderships. Oh. We must change the leadership. We have to change it so that we can have a more articulate issue and a fight plan. How do we, we must learn to change to engage Nigeria? How we have we never engaged Nigeria. We have never engaged Nigeria. How do we change the leadership? Changing the leadership using the votes. Using the votes. We have to go to election. We have to go to the Those election. Those in the seat cannot decide when oh. we go to election. Oh, okay. Because our children have now embedded a coup culture. Mm. Because of failure of leadership. But when the people on top are not doing what they ought to do, there's pressure mm. and that is a coup culture. All right, let's take you to section 69 of the Electoral Act that states how a governor or a president could be elected. But then that section 69 also made a kind of reference to section 133, section 134, and also section 179 of the 1999, you know, constitution. But then specifically, let's look at section 179. That section 179 gives guideline on how a governor who is the chief executive of a state can be elected. Mr. It's, Speaker, I have to read it out so that people will follow. Okay, but then for the avoidance of doubt, let me open my constitution. I have been quoting this constitution without even looking at them, but then I have to look at them so that people can follow us because uh, we have to really, you know, bring out the truth so that people should really understand what we are really talking about. Let's go to section 179 of the 1999 constitution and that section says a candidate for an election in the office of a governor of a state shall be deemed to have been duly elected to such office we have been the only candidate nominated for the election. That section is very long but we have to cut it so that we can extract what we really want to extract. But you must read it together so okay. that you can appreciate what okay. the law says. Okay, all right. He has a majority of yes votes over no votes cast at the election. That's section, subsection A, and subsection B says he has not less than one quarter of the votes cast at the election in each of at least two thirds of all the local government areas in the state. But where the only candidate fails to be elected in accordance with the subsection, then there shall be a fresh nominations. This, this very section of the constitution says that a vote cast, you know, a vote cast, Mr. not number of registered voters. Mr. Speaker, let me help you. Okay. Under our constitution, we do not have any benchmark of what will be the participants okay. in an election oh. before it becomes a valid election. Okay. So, meaning so, that, so we meaning, so cannot. Meaning, so meaning that 50 persons can decide who becomes the governor? 10 percent. Oh, they can even decide. As long as there is voting. That's what I'm good, there is voting. Yes. So and what it means that if people do not come out... Because definitely, many people have the notion, they have the opinion that that very day, I'm not going to come out because all I want is referendum. If they don't come out, do, they, do you think they The can people that voted. Oh, the people that voted, yes. their, their votes will be, you know, taken into consideration and then who is becomes, you know, the governor. Then which so means even without even <laughs> them coming out. So are you saying that, you know, staying indoors will not do them any good? The battle for Nigeria is going to be an intellectual battle. Oh, intellectual. Yes, it's oh. not going to be a battle of people who feel mm. that power has to be taken from the street. Oh. We must move it back at where it's located, in the parliament. Oh. But we have not been able to use the parliament to filibuster to send a strong message to Nigeria that we are not happy the way things have been wrong. All right, let me ask you something now, because... Uh, I, I'm just getting more confused. If you are asked, you know, Igbo elites, do you think Igbos, you know, these, uh, you know, people, they have a political direction? Do you think so? You know, after the civil war, okay, we had no leadership. Oh, until the transition to the first civilian government, and that is the second civilian under 
president uh, under uh, Obasanjo. Okay. The call was for national, uh, what they call constitutional conference, which okay. they dubbed the Constitu constitutional conference for the fashioning out of the constitution. Okay. There was a document given to those people who were in the constituents. Okay. That was the first organization of leadership in Igbo. Uh -huh. We quickly have to run around and get people elected mm. by proxy or whichever manner so that they could represent us in that assembly chaired by Chief Williams. Mm. Well, that was when they changed the parliamentary system we were running before. The Igbos were not smart enough to have asked Obasanjo, why did you change the parliamentary constitution? Because all the regions had a constitution. We oh. had a regional constitution. Oh, okay. Why did we now have to throw away all the regional constitution and now go for executive president? Oh. That was where we slept. Oh. We, we, you, when you fall, mm. you don't look at where you fell. You look at where you slept. Oh. We were not able to interrogate them. Oh. At that point, they brought the presidential system to deny the evils of opportunity of rising to power oh. that was the design oh. because the parliamentary system gave us opportunity to organize and take power in the parliament oh. so immediately they put that new constitution of 1979 into office. there was confusion mm. that was when the great Zeke was able to negotiate power with npn and we had a uh, dr alex Ekwema as the vice president mm. we had umezoke as the speaker I'm asking the Igbos, what was that alliance for? Was it for office? Mm. Because there was no intellectual content in the alliance. People were looking for positions. Mm. We were not able to engage Nigeria because that is, if we had the vice presidency, mm. who is our brother, okay. and we are number two man in the parliament, is okay. also one of us. Okay. What legislation, what bills did we introduce oh. that will give us a competitive edge oh we never we were more interested in sharing office getting minister getting junior minister oh that is not what power is all about oh we lost it okay so we have not been able to interrogate all this conspiracy that have now tell me let me tell you something do you know today that the river niger mm. that is flowing here mm. we can't use it without going to abuja oh when did they take it we can't use it hmm. without going to Abuja. All the inland waterways here, we cannot. They took everything. They decided to fashion out a constitution that they will use the basis of the lopsided local government to share revenue. What are our parliamentarians doing? Oh. But then, um, it's never late because... Uh, you have pointed out, uh, you know, critical issues, you know. The, gr the issues. greatest problem we have is that the political class, the business class, the intellectual group have no meeting point. So there is no way of fertilizing ideas. And our politician, none of the governor is friendly with his senator. Oh. Irrespective of the party you come from. Oh. Where is, how do we design how to engage Nigeria? Definitely, there is this array because uh, there is no harmonization when it comes to the... People don't understand the power equation. That's they our don't problem. don't understand the power equation. They look at it as sole distributor. You become party chairman. You go and bring all the uh, uh, cronies you have and then where is the content we will use to go and engage Nigeria for the betterment of our region? Don't you think that the highest political office holder from Igbo, you know, of Igbo extraction, who is the deputy senate president Ike Koromado can create a platform whereby there will be cross fertilization of ideas and then whereby we can push forward they are not recruiting people a leader must build other leaders oh. they are not interested the, the man you are talking about does he know me he doesn't know me hmm. you see them they go to offices they become minister they just come and throw money around they, they have no vision hmm. Okay, but then let me understand, uh, you know, something because definitely we must find a way to put forward. That is the truth. That we need a new chemistry. But then are you also suggesting that uh, you should uh, take up everything? No, the youth should come into power. All these youths that I'm going around drinking, I'm watching Manchester and all this, come into the political space. Come and take power. Are you telling them to stop watching Manchester no, Arsenal? It is because 
of failure of the system okay. that they are now finding relaxation as the only option okay so nobody's engaging them so okay. new leaders are not being built and Ambrose they have not been able to conduct local government so we can throw up new leaders with new ideas mm. they are looking for godfather those you appoint mm. so how do you really have a succession plan they are afraid of brilliant people around them mediocre all over the place who can you now say for sure in the entire Igbo race who can you now say for sure he's a true leader what we have to do first of all is to look at the syllabus the syllabus is the current the constitution we're using okay it gives us one only window not in the church oh, okay. go to the party go and join a political party find a political party where you can articulate interests of your constituency find a way and bring in your brothers in other parties that at the end of the day that all these senators of the five states will meet with our governors we meet with our members of representing the houses of various types of assembly and begin to find way so that we will make things happen here let me ask you something because we have two political parties both of the parties that are saying that in carbon kanye have uh, listened to that abga will tell you in carbon kanye upp will tell you in carbon kanye you know these political parties they have you know gone so much when it comes to coming to national in kanye is not the issue okay in kanye show me issue. show me your manifesto and what is what is the content you're selling oh, okay what content are you if selling? you are not talking about restructuring you are not talking about our taking back power and creating that physical federalism we are not talking about removing this um, military mentality of creating local government so you are saying that these are the political issues political parties should inculcate in their principle and in, in their, their manifesto in their manifesto yes the issue of restructuring no, not on Kanye. Not Kanye on Kanye. they should remove on Kanye yes. from their constitution and put restructuring there's a music they say show me your particulars that's what i want to see okay. show me what you are marketing for the ebos not on Kanye. Mm, no no okay Kanye will not work no 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 it's not even a syllabus okay it's not even a syllabus no. okay but then you believe that uh, how do ebos come together and they form a one formidable of the, force. One of the most things that destroyed the Igbos is, you see, when we stopped this body in secondary schools, destroyed leadership building mechanism in Igbo land. Oh, the boarding school stopped? Because young people or young ladies are together in boarding for five years. They will learn the car. Not those people who will go back to town and their father and their mother is the only prefect they know. So we lost all that. When you lose all that, it's very serious to bring them together. Today, people even people don't attend old boys' secondary school um, reunion anymore. They are more interested in clubs where they go and drink champagne. So you lose focus. Hmm. Okay, so many things we have said. We must what build is- new leadership. If we don't, we are finished. Remember, I asked you one important question and then the question has not been answered. Okay, sir. The quick notice. Speaker. What would he do? The quick notice. What would he do? Should no, they lose? Or should they no, stay put? The, You've not the, answered The correctly. response to the quick notice is, I told you, there's failure of leadership. We know. The so what would they do now? No. When they issued quick notice, it was a public statement. The reaction of the vice president in the quick notice will show you that they have capitulated. Because... It is not going to arrest those people that will give you the answer. What about Nam Dekano that is here telling us that there will be no election? It is tantamount to the same quick notice. Okay. People are afraid to speak. You cannot lead if you cannot take a position. A leader must never waver. A leader must never You must take a position at all times. Yes. So, are you saying that the consultation, diplomatic approaches the acting president has made that is... They are consulting the wrong people. Consulting the, the wrong people. The people they should consult are those, our leaders that we have elected. Whether you like it or not. And not these members the of the House, these members of the National Parliament, they are our political leaders by the Constitution. All right, they, they should are, take a political position. And they should be the one to tell the Not Hanese. Hanese cannot do anything. Not the bishops. Because no, at the no, point, at the point, no. the acting president even called the bishops and then told the bishops to go and tell the people to stop making. So don't you think that the bishops can even preach, you know, to people during the same It's a political issue. Uh, people want respite. What did vice president, what did those people who represented them tell the vice president? We have never had what they told him. 
okay they, it's they, one way discussion one way discussion yeah so, telling them you go and tell those youths tell those youths when you know what the youths are talking about oh give a direction <laughs> tell them we know that the issue of restructuring is an issue and we will give you six months we will restructure nigeria all this agitation will die down they will lose followership but you go there and tell me we keep on praying pray for nigeria so that nigeria will <laughs> let me ask you something let's assume that he came by Newe if he were alive do you think he could have taken a position i cannot write testimony for him you cannot write no, testimony for him. no i can't but then because people believe he was truly an evil leader i cannot but i'm not talking about Ibo leader. I'm talking our political leaders. The political leaders. Yes. We leave the issue and be chasing. Ohaneze cannot give Ibo's leadership because okay. they are the people, same people the governors brought into power. Mm. Can they speak through to the governors? Where is Ohaneze budget? Where do they derive their power to deal with political issue in Ibo land? They cannot. They cannot even tell. I hear people talk about uh, Ohaneze, traditional, I said that political party issue, zone leadership. They are talking to themselves. You must be talking to the man who has the power to bring the change. Let me ask you something. They do should you, be talking to the think, political parties. Do you think it's right for the acting president to meet the traditional rulers? No. That is the same system that has continued to fail Nigeria since you don't see. Oh. Talk to the people that will change our constitution, that will change our laws. Okay, all right. Uh, if you are joining us at this very point, we've been talking with Ifanyi Okonkwo, political activist, human rights activist, and also environmental conservation activist and anti corruption crusader. We've been looking at uh, some of the issues that are ongoing as far as this country is concerned, and we have talked about uh, the consultation meetings the acting president has had with the uh, leaders of thought and also the quick notice given to the Igbos living in the north and then he is just of the opinion that it's just a failure of leadership and even say that the acting president is not providing leadership a leader must not waver he should take a position he met the wrong persons in fact he consulted with the wrong persons he ought to have consulted you know he ought to have consulted our elected representatives people that can introduce changes and the elected representative should also tell him to his face that this is what people want and then you have to really tinker with what people want and then if you do that definitely the agitations will die down at this very point let us quickly convoke the most powerful and robust parliament in sub-saharan africa whereby you can ask him questions you can also bring your own contribution you can also bring your own uh, ideas because we're here to brainstorm you know everyone is entitled to his opinion and no one has monopoly of knowledge 0701-947-8850 you can also reach us on 0703-81-55-15 remember we speak the truth we uphold the truth and we preserve the truth we call it speed speed we can never call it speed by any other name let's go to the phone lines Hello, good morning. It's good to have you. I say good morning to you, Tony Odisandeki. You're welcome. It's good to have you. Thank you. Nice morning to you, our guest in the house. Mr. Parliamentarian, I thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning, my fellow parliamentarians and everyone under the reach of my voice right now. My name is Honorable Tupunede Simon Awede. Right now, I'm looking for Biafra Market in Anusha, the Biafra Land, to present the group people of America. Yeah, I must thank you, our guest, for your position this morning. But in the side of Jaffa, in your position, I think I have to disagree a bit because Jaffa is an ideology and we have come to say whether we actualize it now or not, we must actualize Jaffa in one day or the other because he has come to say it's not like the opium of people and nobody can take it away from us because I can take that to my son, my son will take it to his own children and nobody can stop that. So is that that we move to actualize the Afra now and stop all this uh, agitation? Or we keep on pretending that we don't need the Afra because... Ojuku Remember, rem hello, 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 hello. Yeah, do, do not okay. deviate. No, do not deviate. not deviate. You are actually okay. deviating. You are so strictly... Right. Let, me, let, me, let me ask you something. Let me, let, right. me, let me tell you something. You are talking yeah. about Biafra here. That's not what yeah. we are talking about. 
that's what okay. we are not talking about. But we are not talking about the problem in the country. If, right? you, if you, you can tell me that people want this, and then you okay. can't just go on to tell me whether we will like it or not, we must <laughs> get it that way. You're going overboard. You, right. you are going overboard. You are going overboard. You can tell I'm, me this is I'm what done. people want. You can't just go All on right. to tell me whether we like it or not. It must <laughs> come one day. You know, that's not the area. You have to All speak. Right. All right, I'm talking about that. But the point is that uh, our leaders know the cause of this problem, but they don't want to tackle the problem. Beautiful. Look at the people they have been meeting. We just meet these <laughs> people that are causing this. They have met the elders, they have met the youth. The answer is no. Have they met the ITOB that is calling this, this alone, that is calling this? The answer is no. So we know our problem, but we don't want to be distressed ourselves because of uh, our past, the civic interest and the political interest. If they want to tell us the truth, they should face the watch the inside of the port and stop watching the outside. You know the problem. And people must have give the opportunity to speak. If they want a referendum, give them the chance. This is democracy. And it is a democratic life of people to seek what right. they want. Thank you so much. Truth. Thank you so much. Because of time, I have to let you go. It seems that you have so much to talk. Remember, you know, one was telling us that uh, if we are to even talk about that referendum, it must, must be those, those who can make the law. The law. You that's exactly weird what you've been saying all this while. Yes. That people should not, you know, you know, do or make a mistake. They should always go for a particular thing using a particular power term. right now is on the street. Oh, okay. we must relocate it to the parliament oh, okay. so that we can bring change. All right. So what it means that people should be telling the members representing them that precisely this is, that is what we want. IPOB is not talking to their representatives. They should talk to their representatives. Yes. You know, they can't just, you know, get, you know, they believe that the executive can give them whatever they want. <laughs> that is, the, you know, that's the irony. They believe the executive There must be them. intellectual content in every struggle. There must be intellectual content in every struggle. So that and you that can locate enough. the source of power. Okay, let's go back to the phone line. Good morning, you're welcome. Hello, good morning. Okay, call us back. Good morning. Hello, good morning. You're welcome. It's good to have you. Yeah, my name is Eddie Ken Dubiz. I'm calling from a new. Yeah, welcome, Yellow Zava. Go on, let's hear from you. Yes, I want to appreciate uh, your guest this morning. Thank you, sir. I'm humble. Honestly, this is what I've been preaching about. You see, we cannot go on the street and be agitated when we have leaders elected in parliament. For God's sake, we are operating a constitutional democracy. For people to be demanding for a referendum that is not in our constitution. We should first of all talk to our elected representative to add it in the in the constitution. For instance, Ike Kuramadu, the deputy senior president, presided the other day when Saraki was in the uh, Code of Conduct Tribunal. There was something that happened that day. He overruled the majority in the house. He should also use such avenues to overrule the majority and add a referendum so that is without these tensions. The youth should stop watching Manchester United, just like you said. I'm a youth. And I'm always uh, heartbroken when I see them leave uh, uh, Jermaine issue and chase shadow. And then we come around to say, our leaders are doing that. Our leaders are doing. Why we are not holding them accountable? Look at government election. We are not done in Anambra State. We are not holding Obia, no. We are not holding our, uh, our House of Assembly members. People in Oka here. And we are talking about Abuja. <laughs> Thank you Let's so much, sir. Let's get it. Let's get it. My brother, if there is a way you can organize the youth, people who are intellectually brave, people who can provide solution for, for, the, for the masses, please do. This is, this is time I will to soon take present ownership. myself to lead in Anambra. Thank you very much. It right. is time to take ownership. Thank you. All right. Thank, you, Thank you so much. Remember, you have to be intellectually guided. You don't follow, follow all time. That's the problem. You know, the we problem have. we have with our youth. Follow, follow all the time. Whenever you are being told anything, you and believe they are not it, interrogating the issues. They, they, they believe that it is whatever they have been told is sacrosanct, and then it shall always be the way it has been said. It is not always so. Interrogate, ask questions. You understand me? Thank and you, just Mr. like uh, you pointed out, you are saying that agitations in the street cannot help. It's not going to help you, and it's going to also bring the change you are looking for. You must engage your elected representative. We have never done that in Ibo land. Okay, let's go back to the phone lines. Good morning, you're welcome. One of my dear to Rebecca. You are welcome, it's good to have you. This is the boss of Honor Bignesh Sokoye from Maria State Kingdom. You're welcome, Honor Bignesh Sokoye. It is many times and people start asking things without knowing the procedure. Last time I heard that uh, this uh, um, 
wrote to United Nations uh, about this issue of uh, uh, put, put order. I say this in the right direction. Like we like to say, the only two organs, the National Assembly, can pass uh, this referendum by act of law. Or United Nations, there are people that has power to to pass. Uh, Remember, we, we, are, we are not talking about referendum here. We are, not, we are talking okay. about agitations. That's what we are looking at. Okay. No, we are not talking about referendum, so to say. Okay. Okay. Agitation. The agitation, the, 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 what causes agitation is because of the situation the, the leaders keep us, keep the North country. Some uh, elected, has an elected law. So those directed law can agitate for same rule. Let them take them. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Remember, our guests believe so much that these agitations are being fueled by lack of leadership. That's more reason why you have agitation from one corner to the other. Let's go back to the phone lines. Good morning. You're welcome. It's good to have you. Good morning. You're welcome. Hello. Are you there? All right. Try and call us back. Hello, good morning, you're welcome. Hello, good morning, You are welcome, it's good to have you. Yeah, I'm observer. Only for this police, Michael. You're welcome. Yes. Please try and adjust the position. Your line is breaking so that we can get your voice very clear. Okay, my name is Chuku Jeku. I'm calling from the police, Michael, an observer. You're welcome, Chuku Jeku. Yeah. I want to talk about uh, the issue of uh, agitation in Nigeria. All right, go on. Hello, we all know that... Uh, this uh, this uh, nation called Nigeria, as we call one Nigeria, but our problem is our leaders. They are not doing very well. The, the, the cause of this agitation is all, everybody. So sorry, we lost Chukwu Jeku on that very phone line. Remember, we are looking at agitations the cause or causes of agitations what shall we do what do we do how do we douse the tension how do we bring that very unity peace and progress how do we bring these things what do we do good morning you're welcome hello good morning are you there it's good to have you all right we have many people calling us but at the same time they are not Always at a lot when their calls are picked. Hello? Good morning, you're welcome. It's good to have you. Good morning, yeah. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Good morning, the honorable house. Good morning. Honorable. Honorable. You're welcome, honorable. Thank you very much. Let's participate now, you know. Twisting my body so much that there must be intellectual content. In every struggle and that is the story of everything and that is what is lacking in the struggle that our people are running up and down stopping themselves on the street there is no intellectual content in it the statement that was very said on the channel recently that they should bring out their INEC voters pass and even their national uh, in their passport and separate place there is no intellectual content in that statement and I want to believe that it will lead by example I've been the first to come out and bring out the British national international passport and, uh, and Nigerian passport and set it on fire. How do we elect people that will, that will do the right thing, that will favor us? If you're telling your followers that have been brainwashed, that they should go and burn their, their international passport they have at all, and their elected voters can How do we not get the intellectual context? That we're Remember, Honorable Ezine, we are talking about auditions. We are not going into what people the activities i think whatever you are saying should be really rallied around agitations that is what i'm saying like i'm doing very well i'm talking about the agitation the agitation there is no intellectual content in it not to have to get in the house and it is high time that we should hold our parliamentarians what that are all there that are the defending us so so ransom so them to do the right thing so that if indeed the old uh, people like what after that, everybody will know. Stop running up to shelter on the road. 
Alright, thank you so much for your submission, Honorable Ezinne Mary Durak, Chairman House Committee on Good. Good morning, my Honorable Speaker. Good morning, you're welcome. It's good to have you. Uh, thank you. This is uh, Mark Onyeka Chukwobi. Ma- I'm representing the good people of Fukuti. You're welcome. It's good to have you. Thank you. Uh, my Honorable Speaker, I want to have a take on um, the... You could not give to a certain people in the uh, northern region of uh, this country. Yeah, welcome, go um, Thank you. Uh, that should show us that these people don't believe in uh, democracy. Uh, that is uh, uh, the, the kind of thing you can see in people that believe in uh, theocracy. And uh, some, something like this has happened before. If anyone wants to know, you can go to the history. You can find um, what they call a humble degree in 14th century. So I want to tell my brother and sister that are living over there that I have to face reality um, and live as they told them to live, or else they face anything to see. Let me come down to our uh, my, uh, my speaker. Can I go on? Go on. You go on. You okay, can go you, on. Sir. Okay, sir. Uh, I want to talk to our leaders and the elders in this um, region. Uh, I want to tell them to let them know that Zeke, Zeke Nandi Asishiwe uh, was afraid to to take his people home. He, he failed to face reality uh, because he don't want to be suspect that he, he, he was among that he is among the people that uh, uh, blood the queue, uh, and they, they have seen what that has cooked up uh, up to up to date. Uh, and thirdly, uh, my my speaker, before I round up. I want to touch on the place you say that uh, what can we do to live in this uh, uh, geographical express- expression they call Nigeria. Uh, the only way we can live in peace in this area is for everyone to maintain their conservative use, to conservate their, their, their father, what their father did for them and believe on what they believe, work together as a people All with right. love. Let people in common go All on right. their own. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andy. You want to say something to that? Honorable, uh, with the greatest respect to your views, uh, you do not lead a people with emotion. A leader must not be emotional. He has to find ways of resolving areas of conflict so that the people will have an edge on top of whatever situation they have. In every situation, what creates and throws up leadership is the particular environment the people find themselves in. If you come into a situation where there is, you don't have a room in government, in participating in your country, that is when our people who are leading us, we go to uh, the federal government and there's a quota system. And there are issues of lowering standard for people in the north and they will come home and tell you, hey, these people, they have now said that for you to enter this school, you will have 2%. The other people will have 20%. Who are you? Are you telling your son that that is the world standard? Because we have not been able to engage the system. The people who gave quick notice, remember, one of the governors, the governor of Boronu State to be precise, told us that the people who gave quick notice were neither councillors, they were neither members of the House of Rep, that they are people who are just coming from the street. That man is not telling the truth. The issue was that they in the north have been giving them body movement, all these things we call body movement, that gave them the audacity to come out and issue that notice. Because if they have been leading, Answering to the question of the agitation of the people talking about the restructuring Nigeria, we would not have come to that sorry situation. So what I'm saying, the way to resolve this issue of quick notice is not by arresting those people. Is for Osibanjo, the acting president, to stand up and tell Nigeria this quick notice was created by this problem. And this problem, we are now going to face it and solve it. This is the program of our government in solving this situation. So that nobody will come except through their leaders, elected by them to talk. Not when you go and form a gang and you now come and begin to interfere in national leadership in a constitutional democracy. The vice president or the acting president is not leading. He's meeting the wrong people. He has to talk to the members of the parliament and they will quickly work on our constitution so that everybody will be happy and all the agitation will die down. All right. Uh, you did say something that uh, 
he has to also look at what brought the quick notice yes. and then look at the issue not actually telling people don't make this you are saying that the arrest will not solve the problem that's not the issue the yeah. arrest is just going to put kerosene in the fire okay. on petrol all right so you are not even in support of arresting them no why are you arresting them here our people are saying don't vote what have we done to them okay so you are saying that they are the same thing they are doing what they call balance of terror in political uh, balance uh, political uh, institu- political uh, 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 family when you go into discussing political uh, philosophy you talk about so balance of terror you are saying that the quick notice is as good as the non vote eh? no referendum they sit at home sit it's at all home. that is something point counterpoint point by the youth uh. on the street uh. not in the parliament uh. what are our parliamentarians doing uh. nothing they're all running away they want to go and meet in nando Cal so that they become elected that's not leadership uh, okay Hello. Good morning, you're welcome. It's good to have you. Yeah, good morning, my dear speaker in the studio, Miss Ihan, your phone If I need you, Chuku, if I need you, if I need you, your phone call, God bless you. You are talking with Honorable Norma Debube. Honorable, thank you, sir. Where are you calling from? Please, uh, we. I'm calling from Paradise, Asia, in Olimo State. You are calling from Asia, in Imo State, in Olo. Yes, my dear brother. All right. I uh, have spoken very, very well. Before I forget my please don't say that to give me your personal number. I will, sir. Please, we are not here. We are not here for pleasantries. If you are here to make a submission, make a submission. This is plenary section. We are serious. I won't say that really what are the in this country is people who don't have people to speak for them. You are speaking the minds of the people of Nigeria and of people in Southern for that matter. I won't say that this issue of people agitating for one reason or the other has come to a climax where even the blind can see, the lame can walk, and the dumb can talk. I want to break my silence this morning because they have given me that emotion. All right, thank my you so much. Funny. Can you imagine that? The evils in the north are still just run about what is happening. <laughs> I'm not saying that I want to be sentimental. But let us look at the 2014 National Conference that is now put under the carpet. Yet we have men whom we elected years ago, who gave us their mandate, whom gave our mandate to represent us in order to look at these issues and then bring them for the front of the house. Up to today, not even one elected officer from the House of Assembly of the States the National Assembly, the Senate, had brought up this issue to be discussed at the floor of the House. We are disappointed. They are afraid. They, they don't want to lose position. The, call. The, 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 the Honorable Senator representing to this state was a waste or not. This man speaks out. People now hate him. I want to miss him, find the phone call, to come to him on stage at their own time and talk to us. Thank you, sir. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are going overboard. I have to <laughs> let you go. I have to stop you now. Definitely, sir. you can't go emotional. Yeah. We can't go emotional. We are here for serious business. We are here to brainstorm. And remember, whatever we are doing here must not undermine the internal security. Whatever we are doing must not undermine the internal security of this very country. We are enjoying our freedom of speech, freedom of expression, but that will be. In moderation, you don't take everything, you know, overboard. Yeah, we well, can remember we are still really right uh, in the parliament, and this is the plenary section of Tenebo People's Parliament, the most robust and powerful parliament in sub Saharan Africa. We are looking at the agitations from different corners. Let's go back to the phone lines. Good morning, you're yeah, welcome. Hello, good morning. You're yeah, welcome, it's good to have you. Thank you, this honorable Ken Obi. Yeah, welcome, Honorable Ken Obi. You are representing which constituency? Newe. All right, you are representing Newe constituency. Go on. You have the floor. Thank you very much. Uh, my dear, you're welcome. Honorable sir. I want to ask you, this recent comment that comes from Nandikalo, how do you look at it? it uh, which comment? There will be no election 2019. I am against it. That is not the that is yeah. That is not that is not a highway to solving the Igbo question. It is sentimental. I said it is sentimental. Is locally punitive. It is punishing the Igbos. You are singling the Igbos out as people who are lawless. We can engage Nigeria. 
and get whatever we want but we have not engaged nigeria our parliamentarians must take the agitation let me give you an example if our parliamentarians would say that there will be no election in the southeast region except we restructure nigeria that is constitutional that is fully bustling in politics all right i concur with you thank you sir but, uh, right. all right uh the way i say it, I remember we are talking friend. about agitations do not talk about uh what uh, Namde Kano said, we are more or less here talking about agitation. So I allow you to ask the question. Probably you get more clarification that you've got. So you can come back to the main issue we've been talking about. Some people have said that uh, the 2014 confirm that the parliamentarians, they can work on it and then that will help to solve the problems of this very country. Do you agree with that? The parliament is in control of the executive. But when you don't know yourself, that is when we are all in trouble. The parliament have power. They are the people that will approve the budget of any executive. Mm. They can remove whatever the executive wants to do because they represent the people. Mm. They can tell you, look, don't build this road. And you will never build it because that is the voice of the people. The parliament will hold the president, the governor to account and tell them, we are giving you six months to come to this house and tell us why we should not restructure. Oh, okay. If you don't come, you remove the president. Oh, okay. But we have we don't have parliament. We have people who need position. Because when you are in government, when you are going to represent your people, you will find out what your people want. Mm. You are not going there for another election. Okay. You are going there to do a robust representation. Okay. And that is when the people will now say yes. That's my leader. All right, let's go back to the phone line, sir. We have a few minutes to go. Good morning, your welcome. It's good to have you. Yeah, my brothers. My name is the man, Honorable Namdi. Yes, sir. I thought that... I no, thought you... So the, are you the person that called earlier on? I did. All right, please. We have to let you go. We have uh, thousands of people calling us. We have over 100,000 people calling us. So you can't just... Uh, have the chance to call and then call back again. Good morning, you're welcome. Good morning, it's good to have you. Hello, good morning. All right, try and call us back. Eh? All right. Good morning, you're welcome. It's good to have you. Hello, good morning, my honorable speaker. Have you called earlier on before? No, I haven't. I haven't. All right, you're welcome. It's good to have you. <laughs> All right, uh, this, um, Honorable uh, I'm Richard from Paul. Yeah, we can. Uh, my question, you know, uh, I'm of the opinion of the concerning the agitation. I think um, the speaker is right to some extent uh, that power has gone to the street. And um, those who have took power to the street, uh, the, the reason why a lot of issues, uh, be before then, we have not had any issue concerning restructuring. And uh, one thing you should understand concerning the a freedom fighter who is uh, the person of the agitator, uh, the leader, Nam the is not a politician. Okay, he's going for a separate uh, trying to recall Biafra out of Nigeria, and uh, that is what led to the and a lot of marginalization. Which I agree with you that our leaders have failed woefully to address the issues concerning marginalization in this part of the co uh, the world. So, uh, to, to a certain extent, I will agree with you, but to a certain extent, I would disagree. And one area. I want to point out is this. Uh, the issue of Dino Belaya is a case study where about 80% of voters have endorsed his record. So, telling you that there are some certain percentage of votes that will make a governor or a president or, or a house of rep or a senator. So, when people refuse to vote, that can also because sovereignty belongs to the people. I agree with you, to, you know, to that extent that Paul has gone to the street. So, if But then, DK, DK, let's, you know, clear this for the last time. Remember... You talked about the issue of Dino Melai and then for the people to sign you know form that does not mean that it's together. a different thing altogether. That the verification has not been done, so you wouldn't use that yeah. as your argument. And who, there's nobody have ever been removed. And uh, apart oh, from that, recall. apart from that, you know, we pointed out uh, I think uh, during the analysis yesterday I did say something and then this very morning I have to bring that up so that people can digest it. Read section sixty nine, read section one seventy nine and also reach section 133 and section 134. That will help you to understand why. That's all right. All right. That's all right. 
So, but what I'm trying to say is that someone has triggered what is playing out in the country right now. Shouldn't that person be given a credit? That is the answer. No, it's not the issue of credit. We have no, to take it to another level. There is no intellectual let's, content. Let's, let's, we need to brother. infuse we intellectual are, content. The same thing. Excuse me. We are saying the same thing. Someone triggered what is happening right now concerning the, uh, the state of the Southeast. The marginalization, there are a lot of things that have been meted out to us. And right now, that person is in the forefront. And uh, just like you pointed out, who are those that we are invited by the acting president to dialogue? That is the issue, that is the issue on ground. And if we, when you get the wrong people, we need that detention. What prevents you from bringing the young man, the colonel, he's right there in other state. Bring him on board, get the youth on board, bring the relevant you know, people that, are, that have been at this, are heading the agitation. And now we dance detention because even if you get the government, because like you pointed out, those governors and uh, those representatives have failed willfully. Now the people are not ready to listen to them. Okay, so that is the angle I'm coming from because, right. like, like I right. pointed out, I agree with you totally. Right. We, have to, we have to we have to let you go because of time. Do you have any? Yes, one thing I want to say, uh, uh, we are we are making we we at least we are dialoguing. What I'm suggesting is that if Osi Banjo will invite the parliamentarians. And then the parliamentarians will know that the agenda for the agitation is housed in Nam Dekano. They will bring him. They will now bring All him. Right, so you are saying that it will be not right for the president to be invited so, Nam so, No, he uh, cannot. Let, let, let's get you correct because yes. we are here brainstorming. You are saying it is wrong for Mr. President to invite Nam Dekano. Yes. Because you will be stable overstepping the parliamentarians okay because he'll be overstepping the parliamentarians yes. and the parliamentarians we can bring in the canon the parliamentarians will now see mr president of not giving them their due recognition do you know that the parliamentarians can invite in the canon to come and address the parliament definitely you are saying that what they you know the the acting president ought to have done is to engage the parliamentarians then the parliamentarians will now be the one to bring in Namdekano. yes not everything the other way has a system everything has a <laughs> systematic flow so it's not going to be the other way around it's so not that's a the, union we're we running a constitutional government okay we are running a constitutional government and that is the way it will be and there is so much that the parliamentarians can, can even do can even invite Namdekano to address, to address them, them. <laughs> Do you think the federal government to be happy that with that? That is what I'm saying. We must put an intellectual content. In Who are the parliament? And they're not our brothers representing us. But they are shying away from responsibility. Okay. They don't even know what they are there to do. All right, let's take the last call for this very day. So we we wrap it up. Good morning. You're welcome. Good morning, my sister and the honor in the house. You're welcome. It's good to have you. All right, my name is Eke Degwood. You can call from Fege Anisha. You are welcome. You're an observer. Let's say from Yeah. Here. All right. About the agitation, you know, it has been the, due to the modernization of the South East that, that, that from the uh, uh, agitation. Now, and that, that has linked to the, uh, about, about the um, cutting of uh, an umbrella uh, election. We are, we are not the kind of say that without, without the referendum, that there will not be election. Though the guest in the house has said this, whether the, that is a sit at home or, or not, that the election will, will still hold, but it is true. But you should mind that when, when there's election, we, we have majority of the people do not come out to vote. That alone will send a signal to the international community. Let us send any signal. Let us use what power we have. Put some intellectual, our representatives can make this demand. And they will be honored. Right. Very, very good. But when election has been, has been take, taking place and the, the people do not come out in out normal to, to vote, that shows that something is going wrong in, 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 in that very state. Or in right. very I got your point now. I got a point. At the international point. community cannot come to Nigeria All without right. federal government inviting them. Let Get that very clear in your mind. Let me ask you a question. He made a very you know good point and I want you to address it yeah. before we go. He said that if people boycott the election, Let's assume that few people came out and then the winner emerges and then majority boycott the election. Don't you think it will send signal to the international community that there is something wrong in the system? Which international community? Where the international community not there when people were murdered in Rwanda. Please, let us be very careful about this international community. Every government has a policy and ideology. They have interests. You must know that you are black. You are black people. Remember, remember the you know organize a youth 
they organize the youth they have written to United Please, Nations. I don't want to talk you about know, no, no, writing saying, to United you know, Nations. You know what I'm saying? I don't this want to talk about writing do, to United you think Nations. That, no, no, definitely. I'm asking Nigeria you has a representative in United Nations. Do you think United Nations can do anything? That's the question. I'm telling you there is a methodology of intervention okay, in international conventions. There is a methodology of intervention. Yes. Okay. We, we are very emotional people. That's why we sometimes we refuse to think. Okay. So definitely there is a kind of a... Uh, Let's have an intellectual content in this fight. This fight will be over if we use our members. If Nan De Kalo and his IPOB will give our representative a mandate. Let them not deliver. Okay, on that very note, uh, we have to wrap it up at this point. Uh, we have been talking about the agitations going on in the southeast not just southeast in different parts of the country remember the middle belt the other day proposed 12 regions and also 54 states they are calling for restructuring and jerry Ghana, who is the chairman of that ferry group made this very known to journalists saying that the middle belt region they are going for restructuring but this what is the region you come from what is their position all right i the, don't want to hear about middle world what is the, the middle region we are from? What not is the central, our tradition? Not central. No, not central. our own region. Our own region? <laughs> Definitely, we have not really come uh, up. We are talking about it. zoning. All right. <laughs> <laughs> On that very note, we have to come to the end. Thank you so much, Ifanyi Chupu, Okonkwo political analyst and also political.